Hi, I'm Becca, the Educational Program Manager at Edmund Scientific, the Outreach Division of Edmund Optics. Today, we're going to talk about reflection of light. Reflection occurs when a ray of light moves in one direction, hits a surface, and then moves in another direction. Reflection allows us to see ourselves in a mirror or any other shiny object. In fact, reflection allows us to see any object that does not produce its own light. For example, this ball does not produce its own light. It is reflecting light from the lights in this room, and that's why we can see the ball. Let's take a look at reflection of light. I'm going to put this mirror in the fish tank and shine the laser through. As you can see, when the laser hits the mirror, it is reflected. The ray of light that is coming directly from the laser is called the incident ray. And the ray of light that is being reflected off of the mirror is called the reflected ray. Now that we know that the ray of light that's coming directly from the light source is the incident ray, and that the ray of light that is being reflected is the reflected ray, Let's take a look at the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection. In physics, scientists and engineers use an imaginary line called a normal. A normal is an invisible line that is perpendicular to the surface, in this case, a mirror. The angle of incidence is the angle between the incident ray and the normal. Likewise, the angle of reflection is the angle between the reflected ray and the normal. By putting a protractor against the surface, we can see that the angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. As I move the ray box, the angle of incidence continues to remain equal to the angle of reflection. This is called the law of reflection. Good scientists and engineers always test out scientific theories for themselves. To obtain instructions for this demonstration so that you can try it at home or at school, click on the following link. Thanks for watching.